Hi, welcome to Whiskey Pilgrim and to another review on my chapter, Elixir of Life, where I will be covering my collection of Amrut, the Indian whiskey from Bangladesh. Yep. Today with me, I have their Amrut Indian single malt whiskey, aged in oak barrels, cask strength. Cask strength. Yeah. Machinations, problems there. It is 61.8 ABV or 61.8% ABV. And it's aged four years in oak barrels, as it says on the label. <laughs> yeah, there you go. This is batch 58, and it was uh, bottled in March 2014. So, yeah, nice. Um, I think I paid around 72 euros for this bottle, I think. Uh, and it's really worth it, in my opinion. Um, I will compare it to another bottle of whiskey that. It's quite hard to find them when you do find it. It's gonna cost you too much, but anyway. Um, let's get into notes. You see here I have a little. I actually did a recording on this one, but apparently my camera did something and it didn't save it. So yeah, I had to do it over again. So yeah, bear with me. Let's get into notes. Uh, it has a lot of um, syrup and caramel, fudgy thing going on on the nose. Mm. And some dried fruit. You could say it's like a porridge. I did say in my last review when I was trying to do this one and it didn't save. I got to the conclusion it smelled a little bit like porridge with dried fruits and um, the brown uh, sugar, I think you call it, that you put on the top of it. Or, yeah. yeah, that sticky sugar that you put on it. Yeah. And uh, with some honey as well. It's a really sweet and syrupy nose. You do smell the ABV here, so yeah. You know it's gonna be a little bit of a kick or a punch in the kisser or in the face, so yeah. But still, nonetheless, it's a beautiful nose, seriously. So sweet, caramely, and all that. Mm. And also a little bit spicy on the pepper and chili as well. Yeah, definitely. And some chocolatey as well, dark, dark chocolate. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into the palette now. Cheers, Skjold. Or Slantema, which is in Scotland. Mm hmm. 61.8 ABV. It's gonna come very soon here. There you go. <clears throat> uh, this whiskey is incredibly like, syrupy and caramelly and honey. Yeah, like some form of um, cookie, oatmeal cookie with um, or a, a cake or oatmeal or porridge, dried fruits. Um, Sweet um, vanilla as well, a little bit spice, like I said before, there's spice to it, ginger, and some black pepper, I would say, and some chili, I think, and some dark chocolate, but it is just so syrupy and caramel, it is, oh, it's so good, um, seriously, I'll have to see if I can get that, mm. Mm. <laughs> I really like this whiskey. I like all my Amrit whiskeys that I have in my collection. The only one I haven't bought that I have tried is the Amrit Immediate Sherry. It was available at the time when I did taste it, but I choose not to. And now you can't get it. I think it's very attractive now for the Sherry Fanatics. And it was really good. I remember it tasted, it had a lot of um, licorice to it, as I remember, and uh, the Sherry, of course. Anyway, um, that's at the bottle. Um, this bottle, I highly recommend you try this bottle or any Ambrit whiskey whatsoever. And I'm still gonna tell you that. So, on all the, la the few re reviews I have on the Ambrit that I have in my collection. Now, um, I said there's a whiskey that I think is very similar to this. And some people might think, oh my, you're so off the charts. Or you're crazy or you're an idiot or whatever. 
But <clears throat> there's a Japanese whiskey. You probably heard of it, Yamasaki, 18 year old. Really fantastic good whiskey. I highly recommend if you ever get a chance to at least try it. If it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg just for a dram, because the bottle is just yeah, yeah. It's really sad what happened to Japanese aged whiskies. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. But to me, this one does remind me a little bit about that bottle, the Yamasaki 18 year old, actually. So, yeah. So, who knows? <clears throat> They're not the same, of course, but they do. Being made in Asia. So, yeah. Even though they are quite far apart still, <laughs> India and Japan. But still, yeah. I highly recommend trying this whiskey, seriously. Um, but still, about the Yamasaki. In my view, they have some comparisons, I think. But it was quite a while back when I did taste them. And I did try the Yamasaki 18 year old first, and I really fell in love with it. But I couldn't find it because, you know, even like four years ago, well, it was gone. <laughs> Basically, just like hard to find already then, you know. And today, you know, if you know the Yamasaki 18 year old, you know how expensive it is to buy. So, yeah. But when I did taste this one, I was like, hmm. it tastes like it reminded me of the Yamasaki 18 year old. So, yeah. Just wanted to point that out. Yeah. But who knows, I might be really wrong, who knows, who knows, but yeah. But that's still my palette, and that's what all this is about, it's just my palette. Uh, everyone else might find different spices, different fl flour, yeah, different things that I haven't found, or maybe think, oh my god, you're so off the charts. But anyway, I will conclude by saying cheers to you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye!